Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Blue Magic Gameplay, with me, Blue Mage Brilliant. And today again, we're going to be playing as Ivan the Slime, and we're going to go and introduce ourselves to everyone in the village. Oh, it's us. Oh, it's a leak. Hmm, truth be told, I don't recall much about this game's mechanics. Like, already I'm seeing like, oh, I'm pretty much full inventory. So I kind of want to do something about that. So first, I think I'm actually going to come back in here and use these parsnip seeds that I was given by Lewis. So I'm just going to just go ahead and do this. Use the hoe to like make a little farm ground for them. Not a very good one because, you know, I don't really have much room to work with for one. But we're going to go through here, toss in these, and then I believe you just toss them down. Yeah, that looks good. Seems there's one more spot open, but I also have these mixed seeds, which give you like a random, random plant of some kind. So let's go ahead and plant these, and then I go through and water them all. Which does seem very time consuming, but honestly, after you get used to it, it does get very relaxing. And later on, you do get like upgrades for everything. And you can see on the watering can, it actually has a little bar that indicates how much water is inside the can. So in order to actually get more water, you have to go to a water source and fill it up. I always thought that was pretty neat. Anyways, I can just go through here and I could farm all of this if I really wanted to, just clear things out. But I just got into the village and Ivan is a really nice guy. So he's gonna go and introduce himself to everyone. Now, I've decided a little bit about what Ivan's character is going to be. And like all slimes, he cannot stop devouring everything. So our true journey, our true adventure in this game is not going to be to get to the end or, you know, whatever. It's going to be to try everything. We're going to try every single piece of food we can. It's going to be a huge glutton. But first we're going to say hi to this guy. Hello Harvey, how's it going? Pleasure to meet you too. He's the local doctor. Have you ever operated on a slime before? Yeah, I don't have organs, so... Performs regular checkups on medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work, for some reason. I don't know what's rewarding about that to you. I guess you keep everyone healthy? I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's, let's go dig around people's trash, why not? Oh, it looks like I'm running out of energy. Hmm, I'm not entirely certain what that's for. I'm sure it'll be explained at some point. Hello lady, I'm breaking into your house just to say hello. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. That is not how you introduce yourself. If you're looking for something to do in the evening, stop by in the saloon. That's where I work. I don't even know your name. Like, if it wasn't for that thing popping up that says your name, I wouldn't know your name. You didn't introduce yourself. Then again, I also broke into your house, so I am very sorry for that. I have to introduce myself. Oh, hello. Hey, how's it going? You're exactly how I imagined. I mean, who would imagine this? That's okay, I'm Judy. See, this girl's polite. She's like, hey, this is my name. A little heart here, I guess, to rate their affection. It's a quiet little town, so when someone new moves in, having a... So it's exciting when someone new moves in. I skipped an entire sentence there. Having a farmer around could really change things. Like what? I'm not giving you any of my food for free, you know. Anyways, let's go on. Oh, who's this nice little old lady? Oh, it's Evelyn. Evelyn? I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Thank you for the warm welcome. You can call me Granny if you like. I'll I'll do that because your actual name is hard to pronounce. And who is this green haired girl? It's Caroline. You must be Avon. New farmer. I'm Caroline. I don't know why I gave her that accent. Okay, this looks like the doctor's place. What's this question mark? Oh, okay. I'm assuming this is like, yeah, okay, this is their birthday, these are events. Huh, I don't recognize this guy. I do actually recognize a couple of these people because it's like, I've played this before. So, I do recognize a few people here and there, but I don't recognize Shane. Might be from the new update. Hello, it's nice to meet you too. I don't know your name because you didn't introduce yourself. Spring is lovely. Eh, I mean, I guess. Hello, how's it going? Okay, you're not even gonna... I think I have to walk around to actually talk to him. There we go. Hey, Mr. Even. 
New farmer. I'm Prairie. The owner of the local general store. I can see that. You're behind the counter. I guess he just says this, even if I'm outside. Also, buy produce for you from you for a good price. That's pretty nice of you. Although, I'm pretty sure that one guy just sells... Just buys my stuff from the, uh... From that box. Anyways, he sells a lot of things. I don't know what this is. Provides unlimited access to all wallpapers and floors from the convenience of your own home. Wow. That's definitely new. And I don't really see anything else that's new, but you can see here you can buy a lot of different seeds. And since we're Ivan, we're going to be doing that. We're going to try every single one of these and just basically make a stockpile of every type of food. First, we're going to go explore this guy's house, because why not? I have the option, I'm going to do it. Um, I have some concerns about having this in here. What is this? Altar of Yoba. I don't know who this Yoba is, but he sounds like he has a funny joke. Okay, right, so I'm just going to go through here, and there's nothing in here. I can't actually go into their rooms yet unless I get a very high affection between the characters. But I do know who one character here like really is because in my other character's little roundabout adventure uh, that was the character I picked as my spouse. Sadly she doesn't do much after she becomes your spouse but eh. Didn't really expect much from that. I just liked her personality so I picked her. Anyways we're gonna go around and see if we can't find the rest of the people. And as you can see in the top left corner, or top right corner, I'm sorry, I have trouble with my direction. You know, slimes can't actually see in any direction but everywhere. Like, they don't have eyes, they just sense everything. These eyes, they're fake. They're just to trick you. Don't let them trick you. That's how they get you. Anyways, you can see in the top right corner, there's a clock here. Time is actually going down, like, every so often. And that determines like where people go, what they do. It's actually a really interesting game in that aspect because people do certain things all the time. And I already know this girl, but I'll talk to her anyways, actually. Hey, how's it going? Uh, here we can shop and actually buy like house things for us to build. Or just like house upgrades, I think. I have to get over here. Struck farm buildings. You can make a coop, barn, well, silo, mill. That seems new. A shed, that's definitely new. Fill it with whatever you like. The interior can be decorated. Steve allows you to keep and ride a horse, horse included. A slime hutch, that's slavery. That's all I can buy from her. Oh, I'm trying to talk to her. I keep pressing the wrong button. I have not met everyone in town just yet. I have met 9 out of 28 people. So let's keep exploring. Oh, here's another fine gentleman we can meet. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Stranger, hello! Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. In a tent, right beside a village. You could just go buy a house, man. But, uh, you know, Ivan doesn't judge. Do not judge at all. What's this? It's apparently nothing. I can't do anything with it. Probably comes into play later. Oh, hello. Um. Alright, well, I can't do anything here. I guess that isn't a guy I can meet yet. Anyways, oh, here's two other people. I don't know this guy. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for introducing yourself. Everyone else just kind of seems to assume I know their name. Selling local plants and animals from my home laboratory. I met my daughter, Mara. She's interested to meet you. No, I have not. I'm guessing this is your wife? Very nice wife you have there. But she's also kind of rude. So, keep that in mind. Although, I'm, I guess the husband would know. Eh, there's no one out here. Doesn't seem to be anything out here at all. That bubbling is very concerning. Hope no one's drowning over there. Ivan also can't swim. He would just float along the top of the water. Like all slimes. But it doesn't seem like there's anyone else up there, so let's go look somewhere else to find everyone in this jolly little town. Um, I do not know what's down here. Pretty sure there's another way up. Okay, yeah. I was a little scared I was going to get stuck there. Oh, geez, not Jojo Mart. 
I keep wanting to say Jojo, like Mojo Jojo. Um, hey buddy, can I talk to you? I guess not. I guess I can't actually meet this guy. Welcome to Jojo Mart. How are you doing today? Okay, so he does talk to me. He's not just a shopkeep. If you decide you want to become a Jojo member, I'll be delighted to make your transition a joyous experience. No thanks. Like, I really like what you guys do with the floor here, but that smile is kind of creepy. You probably eat slimes. Yeah, these guys also sell stuff, but for way higher prices, but always at a very consistent price. Unlike the other guy, whose prices, like, jump up and down, I think. But, uh, these have a bunch of stuff here. This is basically the equivalent of Walmart, I guess. Yet more evil. Not sure what it is about it, but maybe it's just how close they are to being Jojo, like Mojo Jojo. Just, uh, just feels evil. Anyways, that place is closed. That's a blacksmith. This is the library, I think. Also closed. Doesn't seem like anyone's out here, so it's getting close to night. So let's head back to our house. We still have a little bit of energy to spend. And we're gonna head back and see what the farm has in store for us. Since this is what the Wilderness Farm signed us up for. And as you can see, it took about 10 minutes for night to, night to really go through. So that's what you can expect from this game. And if you ever run out of time, you get kicked back to your house. I think you lose some stuff, but I'm not entirely certain. It's been a long time. Um, I think I might be lost. Let's see, let's go to the map. Oh yeah, I went the wrong way. I went past our house. Well, my house. Not your house. I live here, you don't. I believe it goes to 10pm, so I still have quite a bit of time. Before I really run out of time. Actually, I think it goes to midnight. Now that I really think about it. So we should be good. Just run all the way back to our house. As fast as possible. Otherwise, we will get locked out. And here we are. Just one more screen. Sadly, it takes a little bit of time. I also have auto run on, so I'm just automatically running at the max speed. So here we are. We're at the farm. I don't see any monsters. But that doesn't mean there isn't any here. There'd be some ghosts around. I'll be honest, when I swiped those when I swiped the grass away, I got a little bit of a little bit of scaredy cat. Oh, is that a monster? That's just a bird. That's not a monster. I mean it's a type of monster, I guess. So we're gonna spend a little bit more energy. Oh, here's an actual monster. That's a bat. Get out of here, bat. I'll smack you with my scythe. Get out of here. Go on, get. Okay, this scythe is not doing, not doing good enough. Come on, bring it. Yeah, I got him. My inventory's full. Uh, I got coal. I kind of need that coal. I'll drop an acorn. All right, I got a bat wing. I don't know what it's for, but I got a bat wing. I think I'm going to cut one tree down, just so I can get the wood to make stuff. And then I have to hurry on to bed. There we go. Go ahead and turn off my lamp. I cannot turn off my lamp, that's kind of lame. Go to sleep for the night? Yes. Your progress has been saved. And even though this has been a rather short video, I think that is going to be it for this video, even though it was just the second day. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one when we really get into the game's bigger parts. Like, there's still a lot of stuff that has to be unlocked as time goes on, but I kind of just want to play this to relax, and I don't think I can do that for another 10 minutes, or another 20 minutes, rather. At least not at this very moment, because I got a lot of stuff to do, you know? I gotta go say hi to everyone and spill water out on the floor. Stuff like that. But, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.